All right, all right. Hello, everybody. Welcome. Happy Wednesday. Let me tweet this out before I forget. Hope you're all off to a good week. Halfway through the week, thankfully. All right, let me set this up. Then I'll check chat. Sorry, I haven't streamed in a bit. Been pretty busy. Hold on one second. All right, grab the Twitch. Uh, of course, I've been logged out. Oh boy. Well, I think it's this. All right, anyway, that's good. That is that. What's up, Liker? Let's see what the rest of everything is. Oh, I've lost everything. All right, there we go, that's better. So welcome, Liker. And welcome, Blind Coco Studios. Blind Coco, Coco Studios says, literally just open your channel to see what you were up to and you just started streaming. Hi, welcome. Good timing. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. I really have not been very consistent lately with stuff. Real life has um, has been pretty hectic. Been doing a lot of stuff. Just got a brand new dining table at the condo, which I'm pretty happy about. Was waiting a long time for that. Um, I couldn't decide between like a cheapo $400 or $600 one or like an actual legit one. Ended up going with an actual legit one, so that way it'll last. Um, but yeah, a lot, of, a lot of chaos, a lot of interesting stuff. My birthday is this weekend, so a lot of plans for that going on too. Uh, let me know how the audio is. I hope it's good. Actually, let me, let's check it really quick. I'll do my typical fourth wall break. Let's see. And then we'll get started, because I know, I'm sorry, I took an off week last week. I wasn't streaming um, Three Hopes, so not only am I still behind, but I'm even more behind. But we're getting close, though. Then we'll get started, because I know, I'm sorry, I took an off week last week. I wasn't streaming. All right, I sound good. I don't know about the game audio, but you guys can let me know. Neon Jungle Tiger, welcome. And you say audio sounds pretty good. Okay, I can live with that. <laughs> okay, so if I'm not mistaken, um, off stream, I did most of the missions in this chapter, all like the side stuff. Um, yeah, except for this guy. I don't have any owl feathers to swap for that, but honestly, would I want to trade an owl feather for a bunch of flowers I can just buy? Probably not. Um, so we are ready to do the chapter battle and move on to the next chapter, in which case we'll finally be able to use the Merc Whistle, which I've been waiting to do. Um, but I do have some camp points to use right now. So let's do some training and then uh, figure out how we're going to use that other activity point. Time to work you into shape. Let me just see where I was at. Sorry, I took a bit of a break from this, so I need to remind myself. And I think we have, um, I should probably double check people's skills and stuff too in their setups. I got some new weapons that will probably be better. Blind Coco Studio says, do you have someone in mind for the whistle? Um, originally, I was going to do, and in fact, I even did it in one of the previous streams. I gave it to um, Sylvain because I think his ability is really good. Although Felix's might, might, you might be able to argue that Felix's is better. I wanted to give it to an Azure Gleam exclusive because I feel like why not double what's really good and not, you're not going to be able to use it in another playthrough. And then I think you carry over the items into the new game. I don't know too much about New Game Plus because I obviously haven't beaten it yet myself. It's kind of the reason why I'm holding back on doing any kind of guides or any videos like that until I know for sure and experience it. And I kind of didn't want to spoil myself to certain things. Um, but I'm pretty sure you carry over the Merc Whistle items to future playthroughs. So being able to have like an Azure Gleam exclusive Sylvain ability or Felix ability, uh, I think would be really good for later. So, but the thing is, right, there's two potential paths here in Azure Gleam, whether or not you recruit Byleth and Geralt or not. And only in one of those will I be able to, I guess that's not true, is it? 
I was going to say, only in one of those would I be able to get Divine Pulse from Byleth. But I guess technically in a future playthrough, I could recruit Byleth and get it that way. So maybe it comes down to a question of whether or not I deem... I, I do actually think certain things are better than Divine Pulse. Um, I think I just wanted to get it out of the way and then carry it into any future playthrough. But the more that I think about it now, maybe it's objectively better for me to just take one of the Azure Gleam exclusives from this path. I guess I just figured I wouldn't have the option of, of Byleth's ability in the other Azure Gleam path where I won't have Byleth. So it kind of made more sense there to maybe give it to Felix or Sylvain. But yeah, now I'm kind of second guessing. Maybe we'll do Felix. Let me let me know what you guys think I should do. Welcome, Solomon. Give the whistle to your waifu. Happy? Uh, I don't think... Ha Happy has a, like an interesting ability. I don't think it's necessarily that great to be slapping onto people. Unfortunately. Give the whistle to Ingrid just to be funny. Actually, I'm pretty sure I saw some people making some good arguments as to why her ability is actually quite good. So more than a meme, I actually think that wouldn't be that bad of a pick. Solomon says, quoting me, I want to give the whistle to Azure Gleam exclusives. Stevie, my brother in Christ, all the units in Azure Gleam are exclusives. That's pretty true. That's that's fair. I will give you that one. That's uh This is also the playthrough where you get like the most characters, I'm pretty sure, as well. So um yeah, I guess I guess uh maybe Azure Gleam from like a completionist perspective, maybe Azure Gleam is worth running through like twice. In like New Game Plus eventually or something like that. Blind Coco says, yeah, Sylvain's personal is absurd. Solomon says Mercedes is like half exclusive. Yeah, you kind of, I think, yeah, I have her in um, Scarlet Blaze. Neon Jungle Tiger says my bias says Felix. Welcome, Grapes. Yeah, I'm sorry I haven't streamed in a bit, guys. I was trying to be consistent about it. And then uh, last Wednesday rolled around and I was either busy or I just wasn't feeling right about it. So I didn't. But we're here now. And we are going to finish this playthrough no matter how long it takes me. So Byleth Mastered Warlock. Off um, stream, we had put... Well, on stream, we had put Byleth and Gerald into mage classes, which is pretty funny. But I really wanted them to get at least um, the elemental ability because I know how useful that is no matter what you put them into. Now the real question, though, is what do I do with Byleth? Are you going back to the Enlightened One path? I guess, I guess probably... Gremory is not looking like too appealing. I don't I don't think we really need to care about defiant magic here. And I don't think that's really gonna help us very much. Uh so let's go Silverheart. Okay, we already have it. I just need to switch it. Um Catherine, I feel like Catherine's done, to be honest. We've mastered Mortal Savant. There's not really anything else that I want her to go into. We've got Arms Thrift, she doesn't get death blow. Like, yeah, I could get her, her Essence of Fire or something, which I guess would be something to do. But we're getting so close to the end of the game now. It's like, do I do I squander her and put her in like a pretty crap class that she's not going to be great at for a while just to get that? I don't know. I'm not, I'm not really feeling it. I also kind of probably want to make someone else a dancer. I think we made Dorothea a dancer. Um, that might have been off stream. But uh, she's still doing pretty good with her um, Leaven Sword, her Max Forge Leaven Sword. Okay, um, switching Byleth. Then again, though, if I. Um, what am I doing? Forgot how to play this game. Let's go change class and let's find Byleth. Then again, though, if I'm about to train, I might want to switch Catherine just to get the EXP and then switch her back. It's kind of annoying, but... Alright, there's that. It gave her Killing Edge plus 16. That must have been the best thing lying around. Yeah, that's fine. For now. And still equipped with the Fire and the Nosferatu. Let's fix that. Uh, let's go with the classic Byleth Wrath Strike, and I'll go... I, maybe I'll do Ragnarok. 
Not much else I really want in there. Welcome, Leon. Liker says, so Stevie, what's the next route after Azure Gleam? That's a great question. Um, Cause here's the thing. I did a, I have a Scarlet Blaze file that's separate from this and that I've been doing off stream when I felt like playing. So I don't think it would be that. I actually think it would have to be Golden Wildfire. And I don't think, like I'm not gonna stream the whole thing the way I did with this one. Um, Cause I'd like to do more variety. I think people would appreciate that. I'll just stream some different stuff, heroes maybe. Um, I've always promised to do an Animal Crossing stream eventually. Kind of just been putting it off. Um, yeah, I'll uh, we'll we'll get to that at some point. Solomon says, if you think a unit is done and they don't have spells unlocked, you're just wrong. <laughs> spells are pretty important to get for all the sword and lance units. What spells in particular do you mean, though, Solomon? Like, if we look at Catherine here. Also, I have not done a lot of the pair up um, learning things from each other, too, which I feel like is kind of important to get some cool stuff on people. But really, I kind of would have to have more of a plan. I'd have to equip people with the abilities that they're able to pass and then have them together. I mean, do I, do I want Ragnarok on Catherine? I don't know. You, you can let me know. I, I guess for right now, bare minimum, just to get her some experience, we're going to do that. Um, I, I'm kind of done with Ingrid, too. Or at least I felt that way. Because um, you've been through all that. She didn't master Falcon Knight, which I guess could be something to put her back into. Mortal Savant Ingrid could be kind of cool, too. But it's like, do I really need to do that? I don't know. Or like Ice Blade. I don't know. What do you guys think? Oh, she doesn't have Arms Thrift. Maybe, maybe we get Ingrid Arms Thrift. God, I hate doing this though. This is so. <laughs> it makes me cringe. Uh, all right, remind me to switch that back. I'm not going to like that if I go into the chapter battle and she's all <laughs> gimped. All right, let's do some training. Time to work you into shit. Marianne Prophet. I was using Marianne a lot. It's just I have so many characters, it's hard to give enough folks attention. All right, let's see what we got. Catherine's going at it, I guess. Um no, wait a minute. That's just doing that. I didn't. I was like, I didn't put her in that class today. It's just doing that because she had nothing else to do. Uh, most of these look fine. I hope that's not a something's dying message because I can't tell. Oh well. Oh, and I didn't do amiibo yet too. Remind me to do that soon. I don't think we care to have Shez in here. That one works for me. All right, you guys are helping each other. Ingrid, let's get you out of this, though. Let's, you need to be done with fighter, which means... Actually, can Happy help you? Yes, she can. Because she's been there and done that. Byleth 2 is going to wrap this up. I like that. All right. I'm good with that. All right, so Byleth is done. Why did we do this again? What did, what did I literally just do with Byleth? Or did it... Oh, was that a random thing? Oh, that was a random thing. That's why. It, it wrapped up Brigand, I think. Which I had taken her out of because she'd already gotten Death Blow, which is what I wanted. Whoops. All right, well, let's fix that. I should have realized that. All right, Silverheart, that's better. Um, they aren't really going to help each other. Any easy
easy swaps I can do here. You're not even helping, Catherine. There we go. That's a bit better. Um, Dimitri, I feel like you're fine. Who needs help? Maybe Yuri, honestly. We can get Sedith and Flame in here too that are not, I don't think. Um, I definitely need somebody getting Ingrid out of Fighter as soon as possible. Maybe that can be to do. Now you guys are kind of messed up. But that's alright. We have one, like literally one point, so let's just do it. Yeah, I, uh, okay, that helps. Let's get them their new classes, and then we'll move on. What's up, Jonathan Rios? Welcome. Grape says, have you given someone the Merc Whistle already? I haven't, but I think in the last, like, 20 minutes, I've just changed my mind about who's getting it. Um, and I think I've come to a conclusion on that, so why don't we do that right after this? But for now, let's fix this. What was I doing here? I guess we're doing this, but I need intermediate seals. Okay. Can't wait to see how you do. I'm going to play so poorly today. This is, this is going to be interesting because I haven't played in like two weeks. I carry a little of everything here. Nevermore Salt, welcome. You're asking, what's your opinion on Andrew Tate? Um, that has been a very popular name lately. Um... I know he's a very controversial figure. To be honest, I've never viewed any of his content or videos or anything like that. So I really I really don't have an opinion. I know a lot of people do not like him. <laughs> I think that should be good. Two of each for now. That's fine. I don't know. I don't go into a lot of like current events and political stuff on the channel. And I like to keep it that way. But uh, that in particular, I just really have no opinion on. I don't know enough. All right, what were we doing? We're getting arms. Yeah, we're getting arms thrift for you. I probably should have bought one more seal. I believe in my own potential. This is God. That's a weird image. Ingrid is an archer. Though you could give her a magic bow, and she'd be pretty amazing. So maybe I shouldn't be judging. It's just not the first thing you think of when you think of Ingrid. All right, Catherine. Mage. Oh, this is so weird. Leon says, Balti might be best. Slap it on a thief and profit. See, you know, I did think about that too. I know Baltus has a very popular ability that people use um, the Merc Whistle on. But I don't... <sighs> The gold in this game is very balanced so that if I do want to, like, forge a lot of weapons and stuff, like, it will take some grinding. But honestly, I feel like that's kind of the point of the game. Like, I don't know. Maybe, I guess it would be easier with less grinding and less annoying, but I, I don't know. I kind of sided against that because, I don't know, I just didn't think. Like, if I'm going to play the game, I'm going to play the game. So, I guess I wasn't really scared about not having as much gold as I could have because it's been like an okay amount. Like you could easily beat the game without it. It's just if you want to forge like everyone their own weapon and stuff, I guess. Just go true RPG gamer and never use it easy. Always hoard items and never use them. Yeah, that is kind of a problem, isn't it? Thankfully, we used all of our stat boosters last time. I'm beginning to lose my voice already. I should probably... Yeah, I need to do ASMR mode, like, more often and just, like, quietly whisper into the mic. I strain my voice too much, like, projecting it. All right, I think that's everybody for now. We have a point left. Um, God, we have a million supports to do, too. Maybe we'll do these after the chapter battle. Because I don't think anything, any of these are going to get locked or anything at this point. What were we doing, though? Um, Yuritsa had some interesting stuff. Yuritsa Mercedes, you could get in Scarlet Blaze, so I'm not sweating too much about that one. 
Um, but there's Yuritsa Catherine, which I find very interesting. Um, I guess we'll just get some points towards that. There's a lot of them like that, though, that we could be focusing on. You both like this. Is Gerald still a mage? Haha. -ha. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he is. <laughs> on you both. My sword is yours. I know, it's pretty, it's pretty awkward. What's up, Methodius? Welcome. Hey, Whetstone. We all, must do our fair share. all right. Um, with that, let me double check everybody's um, equipment. And in fact, I got to leave for that. All right. Uh, maybe I can keep it like this. So it's looking pretty good here. I don't know that I like really want that stuff. I must have fixed this one before. Hold on. Clicking all over the place. Shezzy has the Mercurius that I forged, and it's quite good. It could be better. I could spend some more gold on it. Maybe I'll worry about that later, though. Uh, let me just run through people's abilities. Dimitri definitely kind of wants that Apex Lance and Arms Thrift, for sure. Let's get at least one of those in there. And, you know, Pop and Circumstance, like, do I care that much? No. I don't think so. Lance Prowess, though. Why do we not have that on? Um, goodbye, Backbone. Maybe perspective is not that useful. All right, I'm feeling pretty good about that. Let's go to do here. I kind of want that armored cavalry's ploy at least. Do we really need the extra five strength on you? Actually, we kind of do. You're not even the most strong character that I've got. I, you know. Prepared to Die, I think, is his exclusive, like, hidden skill. But do we really want to be that low? I don't I don't think that we do. I don't think we want to find out <laughs> and enjoy it. So I think that's okay, right? That's looking all right to me. You're looking pretty good, I think. I never guard, so that one is useless. <laughs> All right, Sylvain needs Arms Thrift for sure. Let's see. I You don't need that right now. I also do not guard, but then again, there's Dex plus two. Yeah, I'm liking that better. I think that's fine. Mercy. Well, that's a straight upgrade right there. Uh, Mercy's a Dark Knight. Do we want any of these other ones here? Did I have I um did I take away her heels? I did. I did take away her heels. Uh, she was just so good. Like actually attacking things. I may live to regret that, but let's we're gonna see what happens. I'll uh maybe Flame could be the healer for now. Mercy's gotta take that um spot sitting right by Yuritsa as they run across the field as Death Knights together. Leon says, I straight up don't want to grind in this game. That's fair. I'm just kind of anal, so I've been doing, like, all the missions anyway. So I guess the gold has been okay. Um, you're fine. That's not missing much there. You're fine as well. And you, you're good. These guys have not been using as much. Axe Breaker for Petra. Yeah, definitely think we're going to do that. Petra can use more skills. Honestly, Petra was a lot more neglected than I thought this playthrough. She was big in the beginning. I really enjoyed using her in the beginning. It's just her low strength made her kind of fall off really quick. And I was trying to focus on other Azure Gleam exclusives, and she kind of just fell to the wayside quite a bit. Um, you guys also need some more skill or ability slots, I should say. But most of the rest of this looks fine. Do we want Bowbreaker? I think we want Bowbreaker. Yuritsa. We need to give Yuritsa more slots. What have I been doing? Oh, he's, he's newer. That's why. 
That's why I didn't do that yet. Even Shamir, she doesn't really have anything she wants, but she could also use the more slots. For right now, I'm going to give Gerald the magic plus two. Okay. Um, wait, let me run through equipment really quick, though, actually. Sorry. Let's see. Arid bar, not going to get better than that. I think this is newer. Yeah. Um, are these the best gauntlets I've got? Yeah, it looks like it. You guys are doing fine. You have Lewin. I don't think you want anything else. Well, Lewin needs to be um, upgraded, doesn't it? Yeah, you're definitely sticking with Crusher. Killer Bow on Ingrid. <laughs> This Brave Lance is on Rodrigue because it inverts his physical and magic. That's what I want. You guys aren't as important. You're fine. That's newer. Let's see. What is this? I'm just going to give you that for now. Catherine's Thunderbrand. Uh, probably not. I think you can you can live without having that. I think I think Catherine wants her Thunderbrand. Constance with the Brave Tome, I guess, is fine for now. Let's see what else. Yours I think I did actually forge hers a little bit. Silver Axe to the Axe of Zoltan. Fine with that. I like that one better. The concept of Yuritsa using the Spear of Asshole is, is just kind of... It's kind of funny. Kind of ironic. And you don't get a really good one because you're, <laughs> you're... A low-level mage class. And you with the Killing Edge. Yeah, I guess, I guess that's what we got for now. I mean, all right. Okay, so I think it's chapter mission time. This is probably not very smart of me. Um, oh, let's do Amiibo before I forget. Uh, let's find that. All right. Um, let's do Amiibo, and then I'll play the chapter mission very poorly. That is not what I wanted. Yeah, unfortunately, this switch is not the one I played the original Warriors on. Because I used to share a Switch with my younger brother. And um, so I didn't get the reward for playing the original Warriors on this one. Though I should, actually. I wanted to play that again. I thought that'd be kind of fun. All right, so those were pretty interesting items. But we kind of just did go through everybody, so... Like, you can't even use what we just got with that. We'll look at that later. I think we're fine. I think we can do it. Famous last words. Methodia says, Black Blackened Embers DLC route starring Rhea versus Nemesis. Trust the plan. I mean, there's got to be DLC coming out for this, you know? Praying for Church Route DLC. All right, so the chase to Garrick Mach. We're going back to... Are we going back to ALL? I think that's what we're doing, right? Um, it's looking a little confusing here with the map the way that it is, but yeah, I could have sworn that's what we're doing. Following their yeah, fo following their route at ALL, the Imperial Army attempts to fall back to Garigmach. Oh, we already did that. I forgot about that. All right, Amalthea. Let's go. That warning was for that one spot on the map that I can't do. So whatever. I thought he says, Stevie just put in the OG Fireman Warriors game to create the save file. Where have you gone? We will. Oh, Ferdy's dead. I knew it was a foolish idea to bring her to battle. 
Keeping her condition. He's talking about Aelgard? Yeah. Jugire, my lord. The enemy is advancing from the rear and picking off our units one after the other. It's only a matter of time until they're at our throats. You must flee. What is that imbecile of a military minister think he's doing? Tell him to stop them. If, if we fail to find the Emperor soon... Can we finally end him, this chapter? Searches have turned up nothing so far. It's possible she has been taken by the enemy. But please, you must save yourself at least. We will remain here and continue to seek out Her Majesty. It's so interesting because... When you think about like how many chapters are in these games and these stories, you never envision that like you'll get this far into the game and you're still dealing with people that are not the actual person. Like at this point, we should be facing Edelgard herself, and really, Duke Iyer is is kind of leading um, the empire right now because of the events that happened. But it's just amazing to me that like you get so far in the game doing extra stuff, like not not the main stuff. Like I figured we would have clashed with Edelgard more. But they're kind of saving it for last, so it seems at least. I suppose staying here myself would only accomplish my being lost as well. Oh, come on. Don't let him slither out again. In that case, uh, I shall withdraw to the monastery. My apologies, uh, but I leave the search to you. All I want for Christmas is to end Duke Iyer. <laughs> And this is kind of a, I guess you could say padding too, right? Because we beat up Count Burglies last time. Like that could have been the only fight with Burglies. I get that he's a legendary fighter and, you know, maybe they didn't want him to go down that quickly and that easily. But it's kind of weird to face somebody like back to back. Like, hey, I already beat you up like, you know, a couple hours ago. Time to face you again. Like in the next main mission. It's a little anticlimactic for me. Give a rousing speech. You know what? That was not a great speech, Shez. What? It's time to move, everyone. I know you won't let the kingdom down. That was like a normal volume level encouragement comment. That was not like a let's go get him. That was that was weak, Shez. That was weak. Alright, Duke Iyer is here. Thank God. Okay, he's gonna try to escape. That's not going to happen. Let's see. Um no recruitment. Not that that's, you know, not a surprise or anything. Um, light the beacons to confuse the enemy, enemy and halt their advance. Oh, I think we could just get all these. So, um, yeah. Works for me. All right, let's see. I got to switch this to this. Who do we want? I think we gotta go Shez, gotta have Dimitri, the classic. Ingrid does not need to be here. Um, the dude could be fun. I also want a healer. Uh, let's get Flame going probably. A brawler would be great. In fact, Ash might even be more effective than Felix. The dude's not looking so hot on this map. Scott doesn't really have much of an advantage on anybody. Let's put you over here. Now you guys are good over there. All right, I'm. Is this what I want? To hold on. Who else should be here who's not here? Catherine as a mage? Maybe not. Yuritsa. Looking, looking pretty good. Yuritsa. So be it. Seventy points, but you can only spend sixty. What? <laughs> 
Liker says, so spill the beans, Stevie. Who'd you pick? Who'd your free pick for Choose Your Legends? We know you did. Um, to be honest with you, I actually have not picked my free pick for Choose Your Legends yet. I will say, listen, full disclosure, I, I watched the video, I looked through the skills, and I considered who my pick would be. Uh, it's probably leaning towards two characters. Um, Tiki is not one of them, unfortunately. Um, what else am I thinking? T to be honest, it kind of looked hard to beat Byleth. Like, whether you wanted her as a unit or for the skills, I just feel like there was a lot to like with Byleth. Um, yeah, and Selif actually looked a lot better than I kind of thought for him, too. So he, I think I was debating on as well. Krom. Krom also gets, what, the buff duplication thing, which is kind of interesting. So, like, that's also kind of good but also Krom on horseback is not like I don't know it's fine but is this who I want to bring I'm just like trying to consider I think we're fine but there's so many fun characters that I would like to bring and we're running out of like chapter battles to like do stuff with people um like Felix should be here right I think Felix should be here No, this is fine. This is fine. Byleth will be fun, but I can train up Byleth somewhere else. What's up, Danny? Welcome. Let's go. Oh, that's right. I'm a, I'm a trickster. I forgot about that. Automatically considerably worse than uh, Azura. Uh, okay, so we got to beat up this guy right now. I'll do what I it's worth a shot. I'll do my best. I'm a little nervous. We will proceed as we must. Shall we? Let's give it a shot. I don't even know if I should bother telling these guys to go do stuff, but maybe. It's time. Starting the mission. Uh, let's get back to what I need to do. Wow, I'm also, um, hold on a second. <laughs> I'm using my Joy-Con still. I forgot to switch it like I always do. And yeah, that was that message because my Joy-Cons are dying. I'll charge them after the stream. All right, this is going to be better. I always, like, it's so funny. Whenever I play with the Joy-Cons, I'm always like, wow, this is really awkward feeling because it's not what I'm used to. I wonder why I'm, like, even worse than I thought. I was at playing. <laughs> okay, wait, there he goes, wait. Seize the trailhead, okay. But wait. Come back. Uh, I can't I can't see him, okay. <laughs> oh, we had the perfect ability for that. Wow. Or um magic I should say what happens if I end him right now babe crumb is highly recommended on Tuja legends Wow, level up cutting off Caspar. Alright, I will reconsider Krom. We'll see. But because you have time to pick, I didn't worry about it yet. Oh, now it's Caspar? Holy crap, okay. Immediately just morphed into Caspar. Um, is this what I should be doing, though? Oh, wait, did it literally just swap spots and he's going to keep running at this point? Was that a fool's errand? All right, well, regardless, you guys got to get moving. I'll do what I can. It's worth a shot. I'll do my best. I'm a little nervous about we will post. We must. Shall we? Let's give it a shot. Playing, what are you doing? I've 
give it my all. Please support them. Starting the mission. Is that let's begin? It's time to move. I think we should beat up Caspar. What do you think? I'm all coming to party. God, Trickster plays so differently that I'm like expecting more attacks that are not happening. Is that the end of Caspar? R.I.P. friend. I don't know why, but that was less sad than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> Am I heartless? I think because I expected him to die last time. It didn't. It, that didn't do much for me this time. Oh, he gained his com regained his composure. Hold on a second. Ah, Count Hevering. Oh, this is Duke Iyer again? Yeah, okay. Oh, so naturally I need to jump quite ahead. Nobody else is even remotely done with what they're trying to do. Actually, you guys really, um, I guess you need to go here. Uh, can they even do that? Yeah, actually, yeah, they can. Everything is scripted in the early part of the map, don't worry. Okay. I'm very used to, at this point, um, making tragic mistakes and having to redo the map. <laughs> Balliste. I forgot how they pronounced it. Ballisti? They might have said Ballisti, which I guess is probably correct, but that sounds weird to me. Like, I don't want you to escape, Mr. Iyer. Can he get through the gate? No, he can't. <laughs> God, what a perfect, what a perfect spell to have right now. Do I get to beat you up multiple times this map? God, what a sweet victory. Oh. I'm Dark Spikes at you. You can't do that. That's not fair. How could this happen to me? R.I.P. Caspar, his father didn't even say anything. That's that's true, actually. <laughs> then again, he wasn't the eldest son. Maybe it doesn't matter that much. God. Alright, should I go help elsewhere? Yeah, I mean, I need somebody to take out that Ballisti. I guess Eurizi. What is Felix doing? Not much. It's worth a shot. I'll do my best. Alright, um. Probably just leave Shez over here and jump over there in a second. Wouldn't mind doing one more warrior special though. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. He made me bleed. Count Purdy is almost done. Wow. Should I do it? Maybe I should just do it. He's got... God, I know I said it before. But, uh... Linhart's dad has the... What's the voice? 
Hold on. He's got the Ancient Aliens narrator guy voice. You know what I'm talking about? Ancient Alien... Uh, what is it? Ancient Astronaut Theorist? So he always says that phrase. I don't know. Something like that. Whatever that narrator guy is, that's exactly what that sounds like. God, this is just an endless boss battle over here. You know, I'm kind of bored. Let's go somewhere else. Yeah, 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 that guy. You, see, you hear what I'm saying? Doesn't, it, doesn't he sound like that? I wonder if it's the same guy. That'd be really kind of interesting. People got to eat, I guess. But it'd be a small world for sure. Uh, I don't like that this bishop is effective against me. Wait. I, okay, it doesn't look like I could do this, so I guess I need to actually switch back to Chez, right, and wrap this fight up. Oh, I was having fun here for the two seconds that I came over here. Uh, I don't like this. Oh, Yuritsa. We need to switch to Yuritsa as well. And to do is finished. Let's get him helping over here. Not the best odds for him. Oh, I can't even play as Yuritsa. What was I thinking? Starting the mission. Is that an order? Let alone the fact that I did not even have him attacking the main guy. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, this is not fun without any super pew pew juice. All right, that's on me. That, <laughs> I didn't see that coming, and that was really foolish. Um, okay. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't hear her screaming. Maybe she was. Maybe I was too distracted with everything else going on. She probably just got, like, immediately quad-punched by Burglies and just died. In retrospect, I did have her guard me originally which is why that happened but burglius wasn't there in the first place so i should have just thought about that <laughs> okay well let's get back to where we're at maybe i'll save more of my pew pew juice for later yeah 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 I don't like this class because it doesn't let me infinitely attack like Azura. Yes, that is fine. What is that phrase that he says? Ancient alien astronaut theorists it's, it's like something like that they suggest that blah 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 where is he what was that meant to signal an enemy ambush investigate you keep calling ashura azura is there's there an h I just thought it was an S. Hold on, let's let's confirm this, why don't we? Uh, can I look at his other stuff? I don't know, maybe I can't look at it right now. Dang it. I don't know, one of you guys could look it up really quick. I don't think there's an H in it. I, I thought it was A-S-U-R-A, -A, so... Azura. That's how I would say that. I don't know. Maybe that's not right. I know it's not a Z. But, um... Oh, we gotta spike some. Yes. 
Worst case scenario, just say Flugel. Okay, Flugel upgrade. I'm really missing the Flugel upgrade class. Oh, that was rude. You attacked me mid cutscene conversation. I thought he was dying. Or, you know, retreating. Flugel is so fun to say, it's a perk in my book. Just Josh and you. I don't know. I'll look it up after because I'm actually curious now. Actually, so technically, maybe it's changed. I can't remember. There was a big debate about whether or not Azura from Fates is Azura or Azura. Somebody says Azura, which I thought was very strange, but that kind of makes sense because it's like Azure, like blue. But I don't think most people pronounce her name that way. All right, what else are we doing here? I didn't give commands to anybody. Yikes. Why don't you help these guys this time? Is this what it feels like to be a casual player? Only playing with Shez and not giving commands to anybody else? Is that what I've done? Of course, there he is. Don't let that fat tub of lard escape. Today is his last day. Lego Master asks, has Byleth been recruited or not? Um, I debated a lot on that, to be honest, but ultimately I decided to recruit Byleth for the stream. I don't think it made... Like, it makes as much sense story-wise, for Shez, at least. But that's what I decided to do. To do. To, to do. Alright, we got the key. Let's kill this over here. Kind of buying some time with Shez holding off uh, Duke Iyer down there. All right, why don't you go here? And let's switch to you. You were almost done anyway. Ash and Felix, Brawler Brothers. I love it. Blank Coco says, you also lose someone if you don't recruit Violet, so that's probably the play here. That is true. Yeah, I didn't want to lose, didn't want to lose him. Oh, there was an advisor that I missed out on. God, it's so hard to pay attention and stream this properly. It must be so annoying sometimes as a viewer, so I apologize for that. <laughs> There's like very obvious messages on the screen, but I just don't see them at all. Too many things to think about. Like which button to press to mash in next. Just kidding. That actually got me. I didn't think that was going to do that. Is there a point to beating this guy? Yeah, I think there is. Yeah, there we go. This is what I wanted. How are we doing on... Uh, doing pretty good on enemies defeated and on time. Whoa, okay. Don't want that pot yet. Here we go. Ooh. So many options and all of them are X. <laughs> Did I? Wow. Did you see that? That must have been what happened to Flane last time. 
I barely even looked at the guy. I just pressed the A button and he died. All right, well, we're going to go do that. Did you ever imagine Ash punching people in the face effectively? I didn't. But it's great. Electricity, the, the lightning, I love it. Just eats the shields. All right, that was quite fun. Did, uh, did we even defeat Duke Iyer? Wait, what's going on here? No, he's still over here. What? Shezzy's like dying. What is happening? I didn't envision that. Dadoo's got the full force of the bunch of mercenaries from that uh, strategy we employed. It's time to move. That's interesting. Where is the chest? Oh, there's the chest. Shall we? Come with me, everyone. We will proceed as planned. I think I think it'd be wise to do that. Let me just tell you to do that, why don't we? Look at the Dark Spikes Annihilation. Look at it. Oh, my ancestors of Adrestes and your majesty of the Empire is doomed. Rest in pepperoni. Go. We cannot falter You're dead. Stop talking. Shut up. Wait, what? Oh. Wait. <laughs> what? That was a con What? Okay. That's a confusing ending. I thought for sure someone else was going to spawn. Guess I did that a little out of sequence. But uh, that worked out pretty beautifully, I'd say. Double magic. Death grows distant. Blind Coco says, once a voice line is cute, it'll play even if they die. Yes, that makes sense. It's. I just thought that that was like a new line of him calling more troops because I didn't actually think the mission was over. So um, in retrospect, that does make sense, doesn't that? That stage feels pretty fast. It's just usually they throw like five different things at you of different people spawning in, but I guess they've run out of tricks with spawning Byleth and Geralt at this point, considering we have them now. <laughs> I, won't let myself stop here. I guess I maybe like kind of figured we'd probably face Edelgard or somebody. I don't know. What is this? Lampo shield. Ooh. Quite nice. And that looks like a very nice weapon for flame. Doesn't look like too bad of a devil sword either. The rest of that is just eh. Be Emperor's 
accept. She and Duke Aya must not be together. In any case, she's certainly not here. By now, the Knights of Cero should be making their final approach on Garrett Mok. Perhaps we should join them and focus on reclaiming the monastery before anything else. No, let's keep looking. Sometimes the person you're looking for is hiding right under your nose the whole time. Your words hold some truth to them. Very well. We'll split off into groups and search for her all at once. I'm gonna go check the path up to the monastery. You wanna come with? Of course. Then we will divide our efforts and search both to the east and west. Good luck. This must be a cute buddy buddy Shaz Byleth moment. It is. There's no sign of them. What's wrong? Oh, nothing. Oh. Just thinking how the time has finally come. How can you save the ch what? All right, that I did not expect. Azure Gloom, the hour of vengeance. Different backdrop. Whoa. Strange. The two of them have yet to return. They've sent no word back either. They may have been ambushed by Imperial stragglers. Your Majesty, I bear troubling news from one of our scouting units. A squadron of mages has been spotted laying in ambush in the forest ahead. They surely hope to obstruct our march. Nobody noticed the petty squabble occurring between Byleth and Shez. <laughs> I can only assume they're what's left of the ones we faced in Airwalk. It's difficult to say. But given the situation, there's a high probability the search party we sent out to find the Emperor has been attacked. No. We must hurry, Your Majesty. Your Majesty! We've confirmed the locations of the Commander and the Ashen Demon. But they're locked in heated combat. Not only that, but it appears as though the Commander's the one who instigated it. What? We should be off. The situation is one we must attend to ourselves. You almost make it sound like you expected this. Our mercenary friend feared a time would come when they turned their blade on us. They've worried for many moons now that one day they may end up like Cornelia or Mycena. Losing control and transforming. Attacking their friends, that is. I promised I would put them down if such events came to pass. Ooh. Embark at once, Your Majesty. There's not a moment to waste. Yes, I suggest we steel ourselves for the worst. Immediately into another battle. Okay. Ooh. 
All right, well, definitely bringing you guys. The dude is just not, not very useful today, huh? Jonathan says, well, it turns out that having voices inside your head is dangerous after all. Another day, another stage to conquer. We don't get a lot of playable units. You know what? I haven't done nearly enough with Sylvain, truthfully. I think this is fine. Felix has such a bleeding heart despite his own protests against it. That's kind of true. Ooh, look at the portrait. That's a rare sight. Even Solon's like, what? <laughs> Alright, what are we doing here? Let's go up. Is there no gatekeeper? I'm I ahead of the game. Oh, must be you. Swap to Ash, I guess, for now. We will proceed as I'm the Leave you here. Mercy. You're running into me. Do hurry up on this one. All right. Bias. Interesting name. This is who they put in charge here, though. All right. Oh. Oh. All right. This is bad. Without um, a pre-charged special, this might be. This might be really bad. Come on, break the shield. Well, if I have to replay it, I'll know to run right here at least because I kind of ignored this part of the map. <laughs> okay, there we go. Uh, get in. No, wrong way. <laughs> Piss off. Get everybody out here to do that. All right, that was a close one, but we got it. Oh, what's happening now? Oh, okay. Oh, come on. Are we allowed to run right back there? I should have told Flame to heal Byleth. I shall do my part. I'll do my best. I'm a little nervous about this. Time for one of the best missions, really, Lego Master? Starting the I, I mean, I guess I just run over there, right? Like, what's, the, what's even the point of the rest of this map here? I think we're just going to run. We have no idea where they will reappear. We should split up to cover every possible location. Why did you insist on interfering? Poor to do is like 10 minutes behind. We already know where they are. Oh no, dang it. I thought that was Shez right there. It was not. 
It was a foolish gremory. Now I've squandered my warrior special. I ooh. Oh, oh. All right, well, let's not do that again. Can't damage any more. I need that pot for that. That will help. What's happened now? All right, now they're way up there. Okay, that's that's not good, but I did heal Violet, so there's at least that. Blind Coco says, what's your stance on backseat gaming, by the way? Um, sometimes people help. Wait, do I have the key? I don't have a key yet. Um, sometimes it's helpful when chat assists. Uh, I don't know. I don't have a huge stance against it, but I definitely don't like spoilers if people are going to come in and spoil the chapter that I'm on or what's going to happen after, for sure. It's way less fun, for sure. But saying, hey, Stevie, you should do this faster, that's fine. <laughs> Sometimes I have a tendency to mess around, so. Uh, I don't like this disadvantage. Oh, 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 oh. That hurt less than I thought. I'm definitely doing less than I figured I would, too. Ooh, look at him glitched above us. That's not something that happens often. Oh, come on. Ooh, Violet. Ooh, come on. Did I get the gatekeeper? Yes. Where's Flame? Can you just... Did I give her heal back? No, I didn't give her heal. <laughs> I didn't give Mercedes heal back. It's fine. It's just flame. What was that? I never thought it would end like this. All right, sorry about that. Let's redo that. It's gonna go way better this time because I'm gonna go right there and Byleth will have not lost so much health. But I really thought we had that. We were in there, I was facing off against um, Shez, and then did some kind of dark magic attack from across the battlefield. That was not, it's not very cool, my dude. Are you bias? Come over here, bias. Oh, of course I missed too. Somebody should tell Sothis to turn back time and do this the easy way. Okay, okay, I'm coming. Why is this going worse this time? All right, that I needed. Where is everybody? Come on, guys. There 
goes a Gremory. All right, really close now. There we go. All right, Flane on the heel. Jesse's running right at us. Okay, fine by me. I did not expect our. You know, it's funny. In the beginning of the game, I would have expected that, but arval has been such a softy the whole time. I guess I kind of had given up on that fact that that was even possible. Especially since we recruited Byleth. That was a good, a good little twist, actually. I. The way they did that was enjoyable. We have no idea where they will reappear. We should split up to cover every possible location. Ooh. What's up, Vincent? I'll check out your comment in a second. I can't. It's too long for me to glance at it. Where's Flame? Get on the heel. We definitely just critical rush Chez and hit a bunch of ones. Kind of wish it showed it. All right, everybody to there. It's always amazing how much you like breeze through it when you play it a second time. The pain of messing it up the first time and having to restart very quickly gets subsided and overwritten. What's up, Annette? Welcome. It was Annette's turn to be in the thumbnail, to be fair. She was in one of the older episodes, but she was, like, very small and behind Mercy, so... I figured it was her turn. Maybe it should have been Duke Iyer, though, considering... Tonight marked his death. Well, this was much faster this time. There we go. No, I don't want you. What? So is that just a scripted thing? The heal is helpful. Can you do that again, please? Where is Byleth? Is Byleth gone? We've had a report of someone matching Edelgard's description nearby. Good. Are they both gone? Oh, they're both gone. Actually gone this time. Claude. Oh, there they are. All right, everybody. Everybody on it. Can we even get over there where they are? It doesn't look like it right now. Blind Coco says, I find it funny that Byleth keeps his class for this mission so you can give them a Lance class or a Lance Battalion to help out. Oh, I didn't realize that. That's cool. Vincent says, that's actually a fun thing about this game. Whenever the game takes a unit from you and makes them a green unit, you can still change their classes. It happens in uh, CW and it's pretty useful. CW? Oh, SB, not CW. Scarlet Blaze. Yeah, I was confused about that. Okay. Get back to it. 
Claude is just there to look pretty here, same as Edelgard. I kind of want Edelgard to get fixed. We don't really have like a a real enemy if she's not herself. I mean, there's those who slither in the dark, of course, but Empire is looking pretty weak right about now. Let me get this pot. Walk in and warrior special, everybody. I'm tired of your insolence. Oh, did I? Oh, now they're... <laughs> okay. I guess we're leaving, guys. Just got here and we're leaving. The party's lame. You're back? That's who we're beating up again. Yeah, someone said earlier that in the last mission, if uh, if you didn't have Byleth recruited, you would actually have to face Byleth, which makes a lot more sense as to why that mission ended so jarringly abruptly. By the way, Stevie, Gamescom is premiering tonight. New announcements to watch to burn off time. Uh, I'm not familiar with Gamescom. Should I be? Oh, God. Come on. I should be warrior specialing. I thought we were doing very well. Oh, come on. Get in there, get in there. What uh, announcements are people excited about for Gamescom? I'm sorry, I haven't been paying attention. Alright, we got it. 68 strength. Well, why don't you, just for good measure, go for another heal? <laughs> How are we doing? We're really close on time, so I don't think we're going to make it. We captured Chess. I was under attack before I even knew what was happening. I'm just glad you're all right. And that no one had to die. I don't know why I just did that to a base captain. All right, here we go. I must wring the life from you by my own hand. Then so be it. Can this be the end of Solon too? I would very much like that. I am a little tired of schemers teleporting away. Who should I? I should actually be uh, Ash if he can get here. He's got one thing right. Wait, what? What? Where's Ash? Let's punch your big, ugly forehead. Oh, 
once again. Guys, where's the teleblock technology? I need to get this flesh underground. Oh. Okay, so your memory works now. Oh, great Zaharos, veil of night fluttering in the abyss. By the laws of creation, throw wide your infernal gates and swallow my foes. Where is he? Dimitri, you good? So you, the enemy must be near. We should split up. You there. Huh? Oh. Is something wrong, Edelgard? You seem different. Uh, how do you know what my name is? You must be... No, I can't... Uh, uh, I don't get it. What is it? Ooh. Good. The end. Wow. Great game, guys. We got the Oss rank. One step closer to my goals. A little morbid how uh, everyone just dies in the end. A silver sword plus 10. I think we are well beyond that. Gameplay story segregation. Anti-teleport magic only exists in the story, but nobody uses it. There's got to be some anti-magic powder or something, you know? It has been a long, long battle. Ooh. Okay, this, I haven't seen any of this. I don't know anything about what this is about, so this is pretty interesting. And so it falls upon me to reclaim this world, that what was stolen from my people might be theirs once more. Which is why I was born. Yes, I created you. What? The cycle of the world. The rehousing of souls. How desperately I sought this secret art. But it demanded precision. One defect, one essence wrongly transplanted, would lead to consequences most irreparable. I knew I must oversee the process myself in order to save my beloved people. When my consciousness first initialized, I was puffing. I remember the sound of water, of bubbles, the sound of massive objects slowly lurching along. I thought the noise would continue for eternity, but then a change. Something gave way. The water began rushing rapidly. Pale shadows closed in around me. Amid stepping sounds, I walked desperately in search of life. That was an unforeseen accident. I was sure all had been lost to the waters. It was fortunate I had created you, for you proved useful in a way I never expected. I am to become you. That's why I'm here. That's why I've been compelled to remove any obstacle in your way. Only by destroying the abomination inside the Ashen Demon can you bring salvation to the world. 
so you understand. Then return that body you two share to me. This is like... It pains me to do this to you, but alas, all was written from the beginning. It's like triple bodyception. It's not only is Arval within Shez, there's also the n real Arval within Arval. What? You've been ditched. You're in the darkness. On the weapons for now, okay? Probably best you don't move at all, actually. Huh? What are you doing here, Claude? Glad to see you're okay, at least. Not sure okay is the word I'd go with. Dimitri and I got sucked into some weird magic vortex. One of your making, I can only presume. Yeah. When we came to, we were sprawled on the ground here. Charming place, if you ask me. Edelgard just wandered off. I take it you don't remember what happened. You changed. Attempted to strike at us. We were thankfully able to subdue you, at least temporarily. You came to and fled not long after. You were, by all accounts, a different person entirely. I guess that kind of rings a bell. The last thing I remember is Arval telling me to slay the Ashen Demon. At least, I think it was Arval. Hmm. Arval? Does he... Voice in my head. We've known each other for a few years now. Oh, I thought he recognized the name. Uh, huh. Pretty out there, right? This is why I never mentioned it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't really want to tell you guys about the voices that I hear sometimes in my head, you know? I just thought... Maybe I shouldn't talk about that. And you claim this Arval suddenly decided to turn on you. I know how it sounds, but yeah. There are two things I can say for sure. The first is that Arval's magic is what dragged us all in here. And the second is that no one's in my head anymore. What? How can you be sure? Not in my mind. Arval's somewhere else now. Somewhere distant. Well, that's vague. How are we supposed to make heads or tails of any of this? At the very least, I believe your account well enough so you're no longer a threat to us. For now. Right. We can save all that metaphysics stuff for some other time. Anyhow, you wouldn't happen to know a way out of this dark void place would you about that i know i said distant but arval's definitely here with us somewhere if we can find them and figure out what magic they used on us we might just be able to escape you sure are optimistic for someone who's surrounded by horrible nothingness <sighs> isn't as though we have any alternatives we should take a look around Perhaps we can learn more about this place in the process. Uh, Dimitri? Where are you going? He saw an ice cream truck. Uh. So you were dragged in here as well, Edelgard. Are you all right? Oh. What are you doing here? Where am I? Is this real, Edelgard? We aren't sure ourselves. But we have no intention of fighting them. No, never. We? Who else is here with you? She sounds normal. Why'd you run off like that, Dimitri? Did you notice something? Wait, Edelgard? It seems much has transpired without my knowledge. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think any of us really know what's going on here. By the way, Edelgard, you look pretty different from the last time I saw you. Did something happen to you? The last time? When was that? Seems I have a fair number of gaps in my memory. The most recent thing I can remember is falling in love. 
You and I were squaring off, Dimitri, when Talus appeared and cast some dark magic on me. That was over six moons ago. And Viscount Fenya's word is anything to go by. You've been serving as Duke Eyre's puppet ever since. Not only that, Duke Eyre himself was under the nefarious control of Talus. Six months? And tell me, what of the Empire? I can't believe I have to direct such a question to you two, of all people. Adrestia changed big time after the Battle of Aryan Road against the Kalan. Your lands have been ravaged, your military has lost all discipline, and Lester and Fargus have since joined hands to put an end to the Empire's brutality. <laughs> Yikes, just kick her when she's down. clearly doing so to steer the Empire toward his own desires. In the past, he took over the body of my uncle, Lord Arendak, and snatched the reins of Adrestia as its regent, meaning history is repeating itself in the grandest, most vile way. So it's true, then. Lord Arendel was actually Talos. You've got to help us get out of here, Edelgard. I would be glad to. Once you inform me further about the current state of both of us. I've been, in essence, asleep the last half a year, remember? Uh, yes. I suppose we can afford a short break. To bring you up to speed before we resume our search. We'll give you a running head start. Oh, this is actually a place. Oh. Jonathan says, this is my favorite part of the game. Naruto MK says, same here, Jonathan, gameplay-wise anyway. Interesting. I don't know why I thought that was going to give the... There's probably no support <laughs> point boost anyway. It doesn't make sense, but... Did it? Okay, I didn't need to talk to Edelgard. Enough with the searching glances, Dimitri. Say what you're going to say. I was just thinking that I'd find it difficult to speak with you. Even now that we have the opportunity to exchange words peaceably. Too many have died for us to suddenly have meaningful heart-to-heart -heart conversations. That's fair. Oh, that's not how I feel. <laughs> Unless you mean you don't wish to speak with the tyrant you consider responsible for their deaths. In which case, let's just believe what we believe, accept that our paths have diverged. And see this through to the very end. You're placing words in my mouth. Still, I suppose that does cut to the heart of the matter. I will not claim that all my choices were right, but I accept responsibility for them. I made them carefully and with full knowledge of the consequences. Then I'd like to think I can say the same. But this is unproductive. We need to get out of here. Fair enough. But first, answer me this. Do you know what became of your mother, Anselmo? Why would I? Someone told me that you would know how she met her end. Although 
I suspect that was nothing more than the dying ravings of a mad woman. It was. I haven't seen my mother since I was a child. It would have been right before she was exiled. You would know what happened better than I. I suppose so. Regardless, thank you for answering. Now, shall we get back to finding our way out? Please, we can't resolve anything so long as we're trapped in this... <sighs> it was quite the tremor. Whatever this place is, I find myself liking it less by the moment. Stay? Yes, thank you. <laughs> Perhaps we can put our differences aside, if only for the moment. The hostilities will do us no good here. Yes, I suppose you're right. I can agree to that. You know, I just remembered something from back when I was but a child. I had fallen to the ground and was met with a kind hand reaching out to help me up. I took it without thinking, without even looking first to see who it was. I suppose that shows you how much I've grown. Uh, uh. Dimitri, what is it? Was it him too? I have a similar memory. One of helping a little girl who had fallen in the dirt. Knowing you, such occurrences would have been commonplace in your youth. Don't try to imply we share a memory. No, I rarely forget an important face. Often to my own woe, I might add. Enough. Let us end this before we both make greater fools of ourselves. We need to escape. That's our only priority. Not that the world outside will be any kinder to me than the one in here. It's like, hey, Edelgard. I guess we're stuck in here forever. You want to make out? <laughs> Wait, where are you going? What are you doing? You should know I won't hesitate to leave you behind. Indeed. I'm coming. I always found that to be kind of a strange nickname for Edelgard, L. Oh, I keep doing things without meaning to. I want to talk to Edelgard. Hope I didn't just miss it. What are you doing, Step Bro? <laughs> That's pretty good, Neon Jungle Tiger. All right. Okay, interesting. Crit <laughs> they are siblings. <laughs> I'm just messing around, okay? Yes. Are we gonna get three of these? Accomplish once this war is over, Claude. Why? Where to have some nasty plot up my sleeve? Well, I don't. Although I doubt you're going to like what I do have planned. I'm just going to come out and say it. After the war, I'm going to abolish the central church and depose the archbishop. The people of Fodlan have been shackled by this decrepit system for too long, and I'm ending it. Mm. You're going to do away with the church? That's right. Think about it. Who steals your freedom and gives you an endless list of duties and obligations simply because you have a crest? Dimitri and Edelgard make it back outside of Zaharas, and they're like, "Yeah, man, Claude, he didn't make it. He was he was gravely wounded on the way into Zaharas. There's nothing we could do to save him." Then they analyze the body at some point, and it's just arid bar marks all over it. <laughs> Slash marks. Exactly great for Fargus, right? 
being as close to Strang and Albinia as you are. But to be clear, your issue is with the church, yes? Not with Vargas itself? Exactly. We have nothing to gain by fighting him. And really, our enemy isn't the actual church so much as the people at the top who make all the decisions. I understand where you're coming from, Fog. And on a personal level, I actually agree with you. But as a king, you're opposed. Yes, for three reasons. First, abolishing the church would deny the king's right to rule Fargus. Without one, the people will descend into chaos and war. Would you be able to take responsibility for such a thing once it came to pass? Second, recklessly discarding the church will only incite discord among the clergy and its supporters. And finally, a revolution of this nature will not only mean casualties among the common folk, but will endanger your own life as well. Leaving the first two for a second, I have some serious issues with that last one. I'm glad you're concerned for my safety, but I can take care of myself. But don't you see? The people you wish to depose are human, just as you are. No matter what ingenious scheme you come up with, or how careful you try to be, they will suffer. And their vengeance will eventually find you, no matter how hard you try to stave it off. I know full well the guilt that accompanies such actions, and the retribution they provoke. Everyone has to deal with the consequences of their decisions. If you let it rule you, Fodlin never changes. And if it doesn't change, it'll just fall apart. But not taking the time to look where you're going will only lead you to stumble and fall. And if there are those who would be hurt by this, I consider it my duty to help them. <laughs> there you go, trying to save everyone again. You really are too good for me. To be honest, I'm jealous of how you're not burdened with the same restrictions. In the world I'm trying to create, you wouldn't be burdened by them either. You could even... No, forget that. I'm serious about what I said, though. And I really do admire how you want to save everyone. Honestly, if you weren't a king, I think we could have been friends. I feel much the same. Had I joined with you, I might have been able to see a different vision of Fodlin. I don't know what you guys are implying there. What did I miss in this? The people you wish to depose are human, just as you are. All right, I don't know what you guys are implying yet, but I guess we'll find out. Do it. Okay, I, I get why this is here, but do I really need to do any of this stuff? What am I inspecting here? Oh, I see. I couldn't read it. It's behind chat. I guess we're going deeper. Has my skill degraded that sharply over the years? Arval. I have been searching for you. And look what you've brought me. The three who fancy themselves sovereigns, ruling over that abomination's wretched spawn. 
What unexpected luck. I do hope you are all prepared to face death this day. So you're Arval, huh? Sorry, but I can't say dying here sounds all that appealing. What we'd really like is for you to lift this weird sorcery of yours and send us home. Oh, I do not think that will be happening. But even if I desire to accede to your wishes, the great forbidden spell of Zaharas is a one-way journey. None can escape this eternal darkness. Are you certain? Would killing you not accomplish the task? Something tells me they wouldn't lay this trap, only to suffer the same fate as us. If this being can free themselves from this void, it stands to reason that so too can we. Then try cutting me down if you like. Sadly, what you see before you is but an illusion. I have a task to fulfill, and once it is accomplished, I shall leave this place alone. Arval, wait! What task are you talking about? Why did you use me? And what are you trying to do here? Ah, uh -huh, but you are mistaken. I am not Arval. My name is Epimenides, an ordinary man who vowed to kill the beast which set the earth ablaze. Do you not comprehend my purpose? I must save this world and its true people. That is why I chose to pass my consciousness down through the ages. And you, you are the vessel for that consciousness. What does that mean? Ooh. Okay. A uh, little bit of a shame we don't have Dimitri in his Great Lord class. Well, I guess we could switch it, right? Maybe not. Should I? I'd say we do it for this battle. It seems pretty appropriate. I don't know what's going on, but I do know whoever that is needs to be stopped. I get to play Edelgard. Ooh. Is this why you guys like this part? Interesting. Um, man, what are we going to do here? We're going to have Shez take on to do. Claude Hilda. And I guess we take on Hubert. Sorry, Hilda. I don't suppose you'll be lasting very much longer. Oh, 
I also want to play Edelgard. Even though Shez has the advantage. I'm intrigued. Oh, I wasted that. Enough playing around. <laughs> that Dark Spikes is so good. Seventy. Here, nothing yet. Our surroundings have changed. This place is so twisted, you can't even tell where you are. Aren't you sad for your comrades, murderers? There it is. There is your rage. Oh. Uh, well, this is not the best matchup here, is it? The Claude's is fine. Here I go. No Why don't you guys kill Dimitri? We will proceed as planned. We must not a problem. I'll have you take on Edelgard. <laughs> this line. Oh, that was a sad line from Dimitri. God. Oops, oh, I wasted that. The one time Dark Spikes is not that effective. Your local Dimitri enthusiast, thanks for tuning in. Have a good night. This is... I couldn't have predicted this at all. This is, like, crazy. I never imagined this would be a level in this game. I suppose it makes sense, but... It was just so out of left field.
There we go. Now Epimenides, right? Okay, mages. So this is the part that was pretty predictable, that obviously Arval seemed a little evil. I guess the twist is that it's not really Arval, it's the original Arval, sort of. The Shambhala remix slaps. It does. Oh, this is a waste. Zaharas Barrier. Oh, boy. I guess I should deal with actually both of them. Oh, I should have healed and not in the enemy's face. Oh, shows came over anyway. <laughs> Hope we get a Garth and dubstep again in the DLC. Nice ending.
Incredible. Just how strong you've become. Arval. You have grown more than I ever thought possible. And yet. Ooh. I've never felt more alone. Wow, okay. I'm glad to be of use. I'll hesitate no longer. Poor Arval AI, he just couldn't fight his programming. Harati of Timotheus. Ooh. That's for happy. going on yes it all felt like a strange fever dream whatever was that place it seems to have lost sight of edelgard as well maybe she got back before we did and hightailed it out of here she's back to being like messed up again <laughs> i doubt she got far though the real question is where would she go there is mock surely she must seek to reconvene with the imperial forces what do you want to do? Should we get back to the search? Or maybe we'd be better off regrouping with the others first. They're like, hey, hey, man, hey, Shez, like, you're really cool, bro, but like, you know, you kind of tried to kill one of us. Like, we don't really want to hang out with you anymore. I think, I think it's best that you, you go home now. We'll go our separate ways. You know, it's been fun. But later, man. Bye. Alas. They weren't gone long, and I worry for our friend's safety. I should probably get back to my people, too. I don't want them going gray over little old me. But I'll see you both over at Garrick Mach. Oh, and uh, feel free to clobber the Imperial Army without us if you get there first. <laughs> Very well. We will see you there, Claude. Lord Uncle. What? Do not worry, so Edelgar. Come, let us handle everything for you. It has served us all exceedingly well so far. You're finally free, and then you wander and just so happen to run into Talus? Ugh. This has been, like, super unfortunate for Edelgard so far. Uh, is she back to being messed up? Again? Did they really just do that? Azure Green. The end of tragedy. Hmm. Dimitri and his troops slay Regent Ive, and in doing so deliver a crushing blow to Adrestia and its army. Seizing this momentum, they continue onward toward Garrick Mach. En route to the monastery, Dimitri receives word that the Knights of Saros are struggling. He marches with one purpose, to slay Edelgard and Talus, ending the war once and for all. What is the situation? Is the Archbishop safe? Forgive me. Our initial strike on the monastery proved successful, but my unit was separated from Lady Reyes, 
And before we knew it, those dark mages had descended upon us. You've done well to make it here. Thank you for your report. Lady Rhea's in trouble. We have to help her. There's no point panicking about it, Mercy. If they're giving even the knights trouble, we should make sure we're extra ready before we head in there ourselves. Lady Rhea possesses greater knowledge of the monastery than anyone else. If she is in distress after her successful surprise attack, that is troubling indeed. And game volume's really low. How's is that better? I bring news, Your Majesty. We've just concluded our survey of Garrick Mock and its surroundings. You should have told me that before, Liker. A man we believe to be Tullus was seen entering the monastery, with the Emperor following close behind. So she's fallen into his hands. The one grasping the reins of the Imperial Army now is no longer Edelgard, but Tallis. Surely those dark mages are his as well. Makes sense why the knights had trouble then. That's so disappointing that like most of this playthrough, it's not even against like real fully realized Edelgard. It's like Edelgard turned into a weak puppet. That's that's kind of sad. A chance to end this war here and now. Liker says, well, I got distracted by all the actions, lol. Well, okay, to be fair, this game, when you go into battles, the battle music and sound effects are like a lot louder than outside of battle. So it is kind of tricky to balance, to be fair. Final mission, by the way. Wait a minute. Are we in chapter 16 now? Did I jump like holy crap. If we can put them to rout here, so much of what ails our kingdom will be destroyed along with them. Perhaps. But our task is clear either way. Yep. Smash our enemies, win the war, and restore peace to Fodland. Well said. The Alliance should be here soon as well. Assuming they've broken through the Imperial ranks in the Valley of Torment. Are we really on Chapter 16 already? Everyone. This battle will determine what lies ahead for Fodland. Not just tomorrow, but every day beyond that as well. We cannot afford much time to prepare. But let us ready to make our future a prosperous one. Uh, you must be right, because they're starting to talk like it. Do we get one more map? We do. I guess it's fitting that it's the monastery. Oh, another one of these! Really? Whoa. We did not get a lot of chances to use these battle suggestions, huh? Hmm. Let's give this a try. Let's see. Increases the chance of raising a unit's strength. I have a worthy Magic. What about this? Defense. Would you mind listening to my idea? I feel like everybody that wants Let's strength. Try. Well, it's not even true, is it? Lego Master says defense, really? You know, I thought about it for a brief moment, but you think? You know what? Yeah, I'm not opposed. I'm not opposed. Most people who have high magic or high strength already, like, it doesn't really help them that much. Though there are folks who are struggling with strength and stuff. But you know what? This is kind of interesting, I guess. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, well, the title of the video, I suppose it's finally time. I didn't realize it was going to be the last mission that we're doing this, but I think we're going to Merc Whistle Felix. Look at these. These were the two main picks originally, aside from Byleth. But uh, I'm thinking Felix's little dodge roll thing is, is kind of fun.
Oh, why is it giving it? No, oh, I almost gave it to Sylvain. So yeah. Nuh -uh. I... <gasps> no, this is not a very cinematic location. Let's uh. So yeah. Let's do it right here. Nuh -uh. I... <gasps> oh, wait! I can't. Oh. Oh, 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 we gotta get Felix's A support. I think we have it, we just didn't watch it. All right, um, wait. Did I miss it? Did I miss Shez Felix A? Did I really? Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Did I have I made a huge mistake by not watching all those A supports? How about other folks? I did. Why would that one be time gated? Hold on. Well, it's already been saved over, so it's not like going back fixes anything but let's look at the other blue lion save file down here 68 hours did we have it here i missed the b with felix i mean i had it ready probably i just didn't watch it because i was i didn't want to like a whole stream of just all supports so i kind of put off doing them and maybe that was a big mistake let's see why would there be a cutoff for a B support with a character that's always here? Yeah, I mean, here's us able to do it. What's wrong? Your footwork is even sloppier than usual. You noticed that, huh? It's nothing. There's just been a lot on my mind lately, is all. And I was kind of lost in thought when you lunged at me, so I couldn't really react too well. That's disappointing. God. Training isn't a time for idle contemplation. You're worthless as a sparring partner if you let your mind wander. Not to mention that you do the same thing in actual battles. Getting distracted when you're training is one thing. Do it out there, and the enemy will cut you down without hesitation. <sighs> We've been through this before. If there's something on your mind, just come out with it already. I was just thinking you have a pretty good read on me now, too. It was obvious something was wrong from the way you were fighting. And this is just payback for last time, so no complaining. Oh, don't worry. I'm not. If you say so, there's still something I don't understand, though. Where did you learn to fight like that? You clearly don't move like a knight. But I've never seen a mercenary use those techniques either. I guess you could say I taught myself. I didn't really have one teacher who showed me everything. If anything, I just kind of picked stuff up as I moved from one band of mercs to the next. That explains it. I was wondering why your style was so hard to read. What's up, Chip? Welcome. Unfortunately, just got some bad news in here that uh, I missed this B support with Felix. Even though we had it ready, I just didn't watch it in time, and now it's been locked away from me. Both That's kind of sad. Use a standard set of battle-tested tactics. And both they all play like. So no Merc Whistle for Felix, I guess, which was the new plan. Bound to any single convention. I suppose that's what I found strange. Probably doesn't help that I don't have to draw Yikes. my sword like everyone else. When I think about it like that, it might have been for the best that I taught myself instead of subscribing to a particular school of thought. A unique style all your own. Fascinating. Teach me. Uh, I'd be glad to, but I'm the only one who can use my sword. It won't be easy to replicate. That's for me to decide. If nothing else, I can adapt your moves for my own purposes. The more styles I know, the better. If you say so, I don't know how this is going to go, but I'll do what I can. Oh, and you can teach me in exchange. The more styles, the better, right? You fight sort of like a knight, but also sort of not. I mean that in a good way, of course. I'm not sure how to put it. It's almost like you react to the situation as it plays out. So, yeah, if we can combine our two styles somehow, I bet we'll both end up stronger for it. <laughs> Maybe so. Alright, um, so we got this one in this file. That's really sad. That's unfortunate. 
Because, look, at we had the A support ready even way back here. I just put off... I guess I felt like I would do a stream where we did, like, all the Blue Lions A supports. Uh, I think I already did Fel um, Sylvain's, obviously, even way back here. But um, I guess I put it off for too long. All right, so we're going to do the Merc Whistle, but we just can't do Felix. So now it's between Sylvain and Byleth. And I see you guys telling me to watch the Byleth support, so we'll do that then. I'm probably going to wrap up the stream in a little bit here. We're not going to do the final chapter tonight. I, I suppose I could have based on the length of my other streams, but I do have work in the morning. And I wasn't anticipating beating the game tonight, actually, so I'd like to do maybe one more. Probably next week at this point. All right, let's do Byleth. Because now we finally can, right? Oh, yeah, there's even the lock. That's sad. Is that the only one I messed up? That might be the only one I messed up. That's really weird. Like, why? Is there just a certain point that you can't do bees anymore after? I'm going to have to look into that. Huh. Do you have Lorenzo? Lawrence? Uh, Chip, apparently in Azure Gleam, you can't do Lorenz at all. So it looks like I messed up Lorenz, but I don't think that I did. Yeah. You just, like, legit don't get to speak to him in this route. I think it's because some of his supports talk about Claude and, like, being part of... Like, it implies that Claude is part of the army, which doesn't really make sense. So I think that's why they did that and they locked it. Um, you can do it if you recruit Lorenz in Scarlet Blaze. But that kind of makes more sense in that route in a way. So, yeah, I don't know. I can't believe I tried to kill you. It's all right. I know that wasn't really you. Still, the one who did it was a part of me. Literally. You asked me about this before, about some mysterious presence within me. That's right. Well, sorry I couldn't give you a straight answer back then. Isn't Claude an ally in this route though? Yes, but like I guess less so. I don't remember Scarlet Blaze how involved he is exactly. Um, I also didn't beat Scarlet Blaze yet on my in my free time, but I guess for whatever reason they felt it made more sense on Scarlet Blaze because I've had Lauren's supports on that route. Arval told me not to tell anyone. Uh, that's the name of the presence that was inside my head, by the way. <laughs> that was one of the names of my seventeen altars. By the way, I'm Jimmy. Nice to meet you. The one that took control of my body and tried kill you or maybe it was someone else entirely the one that called himself epimenides arvel and epimenides hmm? i wonder what manner of beings they are it beats me and it's not like i can just go and ask them now honestly i kind of wish i'd talk to arvel more now that i can't i guess if this is the closure to arvel's story i could see why people would be disappointed that we didn't learn a bit more but we had like this whole chunk that we just had which at least kind of explains some things. I guess I'd like to know more about the reason why Arval needed to destroy Sothis so bad. Like, a little bit more depth and context there. But, yeah, I don't know. I guess I, based on what people were saying, what I saw some of the complaints were from folks, um, just like general comments after beating the game, they seem to be... Disappointed that we didn't get enough of Shez and Arval explanation, but what we just got, I guess, is kind of more than I even expected at this, at this point, based on that feedback. So that's how these things work, sadly. When you're ready to talk, the person you want to talk to is no longer there. But there's still so much I don't know. Remember how I got trapped inside that void with Dimitri and the others after our fight? That's when Arval used the name Epimenides, and then tried to kill us. Are Arval and Epimenides the same being? I'd like to think they're different, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe Epimenides is just Arval's true identity. I don't know if they were just using me, or if they had some other goal in mind. All I've got are a bunch of mysteries that I'll probably never solve. I did notice one thing. What's that? It was when we were fighting and you were being manipulated. 
It seemed like Arva was trying to keep your body from getting hurt. They could have fought more recklessly. I don't see why it would have made a difference to them, but they were making sure you weren't harmed. Seriously? Arva was protecting me? It's just a feeling I got, but yes, I think that could have been the case. I guess Arval's the only one who knows the truth. Or as the Saros folks say, only the goddess knows, right? But hey, thanks for telling me that. Really, it does make me feel better. I've got no choice now but to keep moving forward, live out the destiny the two of us once shared. <laughs> Chip says, making sure you weren't harmed because Jesse's the host, but whatever. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I came here to apologize, but you ended up cheering me up instead. Catch you later, okay? Only the goddess knows, hmm? Well, the goddess may have been the one telling you that. Plot twist. Just kidding. All right, guys, so... Now the real debate is between Byleth and Sylvain for the Merc Whistle. Like, I'm thinking about it, and the thing is, like, Divine Pulse from Byleth is not route exclusive. Like, I could play any other route after this and get it from that route if I use the Merc Whistle there. Meanwhile, though, don't you think it would be more fun, perhaps, to take Sylvain's Mega Range Super Slash ability and have that forever? Like, that seems like kind of the play for me. I know I said Byleth a lot, but the more that I've thought about it, I think I've kind of changed my mind. What do you think? I do Sylvain, Yuritsa, or Mercedes. All amazing abilities, IMO. Uh, Mercedes is, is kind of good, isn't it? That, like, light explosion and heal thing, right? And Yuritsa has that room-clearing scythe slash. But the thing is, like, I thought that was kind of incredible at first, but I feel like late game it's not as as good get sylvain it's super broken let's do sylvain i can always do byleth another time oh, yeah. i almost gave it to sylvain before maybe it's fitting Fool. -uh. justice for sylvain I, yeah. all right sylvain it is oops that's not what i wanted but you know what we'll give him a gift too the favor warm cloak all right okay um so we did that do i want to do anything else tonight before i wrap up unfortunately we're only going to have it for one chapter here but if i stream three hopes again in the future i i don't think i'm going to stream an entirely new playthrough like i was saying earlier but we may play like chunks here and there or something we'll have to see it's just that i want to do a little bit more variety with the streams and do and hit other stuff like heroes maybe in other games i kind of had committed to this so i wanted to make sure i saw this through so next time we will probably wrap up three hopes azure gleam which is a lot sooner than i even thought to be honest i thought we had at least like two more streams or something after this but uh, i guess we kind of ran through a lot with that arval chapter there um interesting so next time i think when we come back i'll knock out these supports maybe we, we could do some right now like jonathan is even saying i just kind of wanted to do them all in like one fell swoop like all the blue lions ones but well felix is just dead <laughs> all right i guess we'll let's do like two supports and i'll wrap up the stream um do we have this one we do I want to see this one. Looks like someone beat me here. Hey, Yuritsa. You do know we're allies now, right? You could at least say hello. I suppose. <laughs> Talkative as ever, I see. I take it you're here to train? I'm still completely shocked that Yuritsa is playable on Azure Gleam. Just can't even believe it. 
don't say. Well, this is as good an opportunity as any. What say you and I have ourselves a little duel? I've been itching to cross swords with you since we were at Garrick Ma. We never had a chance to cut loose and really fight, did we? They say the way someone wields their blade can tell you who they really are. So come on, show me. Oh, very well. Draw your sword. Doesn't make up for Judith not being playable, though. Agreed. That's true. <laughs> You're not half bad. I'm honestly shocked that Gustav slash Gilbert is not here. Um, what's his face? Randolph. I really thought Randolph would finally get a, a little a little nod there or something. Or like Ladislava or something. But Judith especially. Judith is... God. If they do DLC for this game, please add Judith as like a freebie. You want to add more DLC characters? Great, sure. I'll, I'll, I would actually pay for that. But Judith should be like a free, free DLC update. Cause come on, she should have been in this. Super disappointing. What? Done already? Things are just getting interesting. This will not end until one of us dies. I have no reason to fight you. I care not when my life ends, but you. You do not wish to kill an ally. That's right. If I cut you down now, I'd never be able to face your sister. We'll have to save the real fight for another time. Let's call this one a draw. <laughs> mm -hmm. Sorry. I'm just glad you were even tougher than I expected. Now I know why you were the weapons instructor. You'll have to teach me something new next time, Professor. I care not for jokes. Bad habit. What can I say? It's not every day I get to go up against someone as good as you. I look forward to our next bout. Just not to the death. Anyway, I'm going to call it a day. Thanks, Yuritsa. Sulky boy. Was that only C? Oh. Alright, well, let's wrap it up with this. I thought that was B. Oh, your form's great today. Thanks for sparring with me, Yuritsa. Randolph. Ah, you mean portraited plot device. With a cool model, unfortunately. I like how he looks. Though I have to say, we've faced off a few times now. And I still can't figure you out. Your skill is undeniable, but there's no emotion behind it. Your swordsmanship says nothing about you. If it's because you can't take it seriously, then you're welcome to come at me with everything you've got. Why are you staring at me like that? Don't tell me I offended you. Very well. Entertain me with your blade. Ooh, look at his face. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then. Let's do this. Maybe you shouldn't. I knew that was another side of you. More. I need more. Satisfy my thirst for blood. Give me a break. Stop. Stop. I've had enough. What? Unlike Yuritsa, the way you fight reveals a lot about you. I'm sure you're content just fighting worthy opponents to the death. But I have people I need to protect. People I'm fighting for. Life's too precious to waste on a fleeting moment of fun, Death Knight. You'd think your words would actually stop him? I don't think so. I think he would just keep coming at you. Look at his face. That's why I can't be the one to kill you, what you so desperately desire. But hey, Bodlin's a big place. There's got to be someone out there who'll give you what you want. They might even be closer than you think. You just have to look, right? Why don't you make finding that person your reason to keep fighting? <laughs> All that said, I'm still a warrior. Nothing gets my blood pumping like facing a tough opponent. Did you say blood? So while I can't help you put an end to your life, I'd be more than happy to help you live it. Until our next duel, Professor. See you around. 
What? <laughs> that was a I quick... thought she, of all people, would slay the darkness that dwells within me. That was a quick transition. What a merciless woman. <laughs> They're trying to make it like the dude straight up has a demon inside of him. God. Remind me to never have someone like Catherine as a therapist. She sucks. <laughs> Catherine should be dead after this support IMO. Fun Easter egg. That's pretty funny. Be unfortunate, though. To unlock all the supports, you have to have a dead character. Well, with that, guys, I'm going to wrap up the stream. It is getting late over here. Um, I probably won't be able to stream again until next week. On what did I just do? I just war map it. I just war mapped it. Anyway, back to what I was saying. Probably won't be able to stream again until next week. Got a really busy weekend ahead of me. Um, it's going to be my birthday weekend, so hoping to do something fun for that. Uh, but stay tuned. I will probably try to stream again at least on Wednesday next week. I think Wednesday is a day I'm really comfortable with. Um, so please stay tuned for that. It's going to be probably the final episode of this Three Hopes live stream series. So I hope that you will tune in and in enjoy it. And then moving forward, obviously, I'll keep up the streams. We'll do some other stuff, Heroes. I may even do like a little bit of Golden Wildfire or something of this game. It just won't be, you know, every single episode and as consistent as I did with this one um, in terms of week after week after week. But as always, thank you so much for watching and tuning in. Thank you, Jonathan Rios, Methodius, Chip. We had Liker in here earlier. We had Grapes. Who else did we have that I'm forgetting? Let me go back a little bit further. Lego Master, you were big tonight. Thank you for coming out, man. Um, who else? Naruto MK, thank you. Obviously, Liker. We had Annette in here. We had Vincent. Unknown Gaming, always a pleasure. Blind Coco, thank you for tuning in if you're still here. Um, who else? Dota. I did say grapes. Uh, Leon, thank you. Solomon, as always. But uh, yeah, and uh, Roke or Roke Figueroa, you as well. Thank you. That's going to be it, guys. I will see you next time. And I hope to come back with actual videos soon. It's just been a really hectic period of time, and I kind of took some time off for some summer stuff. But things will be back, I promise. But have a great rest of your night. I'll see you guys later. Bye.